What up, y'all? This Big Og coming at you live. I'm from Pasadena, but I'm out here living in the Inland Empire, just out here chilling, man, enjoying life, you know what I'm saying, doing the best I can to make it in this world, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I feel good, man. I feel good that I'm happy that I'm alive, that I'm blessed that I can wake up and live another day. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a roof over my head. It ain't all that, but I got a roof over my head. I got running water, hot water, cold water. You know what I'm saying? I got clothes on my back. I got cars. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't brag about nothing because it ain't no need for none of that. You know what I'm saying? I just do what I do and live how I live. As long as I know that my kids are taken care of. As long as I know they mamas is straight. I'm straight. That's all that matter to me. Don't none of this other stuff matter to me, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to cut a lot of fake ass homies off because all they was doing was trying to use me, take advantage of me and shit. Always got their motherfucking hands out for shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be with no broke ass niggas, homie. I don't fuck with broke niggas. Take it how you want to take it. I ain't got time to fuck with broke ass niggas. I really don't. If I'm sitting up here helping you, helping you, helping you, helping you, and you don't want to get up off your motherfucking ass and do something with your motherfucking life, nigga, that's on you. Because I got to keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? JT needs shoes. JT needs clothes on his back. You know what I'm saying? My kids need shit. I need shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why do I got to keep putting my life on hold to help you? And you a grown-ass motherfucking man that ain't doing nothing with your motherfucking life. And succeeding in your motherfucking life and doing something right by your motherfucking life and right by your motherfucking kids. Then you want to come at me with a sad story and a sad excuse like, nigga, I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? Nah, motherfucker, I'm not going to feel sorry for you. Then when I do help your motherfucking ass, what the fuck y'all niggas do? Y'all go right there and talk behind my back. Try to dirty mag me. Do a little down low, do a little dirty ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I see motherfuckers do that shit all the time, homie. That's why I leave y'all motherfucking bitch-ass niggas alone. That's why I roll in my own lane. Lane number one to the farthest to the motherfucking right. And I cruise on it real slow. And I just ride by and cruise on you bitch-ass niggas. And let y'all bitch-ass niggas know y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all niggas ain't got shit on me. And I don't even have to brag about it. But y'all niggas know y'all ain't got shit on me, man. After a while, you get tired of helping motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? When I'm down and out, who gonna help me? Not one of y'all motherfuckers. When my car broke down, I need a motherfucking ride. And I call one of y'all niggas. Y'all niggas got a car to give me a ride? No. If my motherfucking life is finna get cut off, and I ask you, can I borrow $50 to get my lights cut on? Is you gonna cut my motherfucking lights on and give me $50, nigga? No. First thing you're going to say is, oh, nigga, I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Or I ain't got it like that. $50? You know what I'm saying? Why would I fuck with a nigga that ain't got $50 to help his homie out? When I can open up my motherfucking wallet and pull 50 after 50 after 50 and slide you one on the motherfucking GP. And then you're going to say, oh, well, nigga, I'll pay you back when I get my check. How you going to pay me back when you ain't got no job, nigga? But me being your homie, though, I'm going to chalk that 50 up as a loss, nigga, because I know you ain't got shit. But well, that's just to let you know when I give it to you, don't ask for it no more. Because I'm not your bitch. Your bitch is supposed to give you your money, nigga. I ain't no motherfucking bank account, homie. It's not how I roll. It's not how I get in. You know what I'm saying? So in, in my life, I got to look out for me and mine. That mean my... Sisters, I gotta look out for my mama, I gotta look out for my kids, even my older kids, and my motherfucking grandkids, nigga. I got grandkids, homie. All those is important to me. All that shit you talking about ain't important to me, man. Drinking, smoking every day. Nigga, that shit don't mean nothing to me, man. That's, that, that, that ain't, I ain't finna tear my body down with you. That's some shit that we was doing when we were some little youngsters in our 20s, nigga. We ain't young like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to keep living their life like that all day, every day. Who want to keep fucking up their body every day? Fucking up their life every day. Don't want to do shit every day. Just want to sit around and smoke and drink, smoke and drink, smoke and drink. Not me. 
I'm trying to get paid. I'm out here trying to get this money. I'm out here trying to survive. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the age right now where I'm on some retirement money type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Putting my eggs in different motherfucking baskets and watching my money grow. Investing my money into my own shit. Investing my money into my own little adventures and my own little businesses that I got going on low-key by my own goddamn self. Trying to get myself off the ground and keep myself high off the ground so I can survive and I can live. These are the motherfucking things I'm trying to do. Then motherfuckers be like, oh, why you don't look out? Nigga, I've been looking out for years. You've been asleep for years, motherfucker. Wake your motherfucking ass up and get your shit in order, motherfucker. Handle your motherfucking business and do what the fuck you supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, you think you better than me. No, nah, nigga, I don't think I'm better than none of y'all motherfucking niggas, homie. What I decided to do is wake the fuck up and stop fucking with broke-ass motherfucking niggas and get up off my motherfucking ass and handle my own motherfucking business by my motherfucking self and make money like I've been doing ever since I was with or without y'all niggas. That's what the fuck I did, homie. My choice. My life. My decision. I make my own decisions. I roll my own car. Nigga, I roll solo motherfucking boat by myself, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm the hardest nigga in the world, but I know from the shoulders, nigga, y'all niggas couldn't touch me any motherfucking way, even if you try. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't even about violence. It's about reality and speaking up on shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all niggas got bitches, and y'all can mac this bitch, mac that bitch, but what's that shit gonna prove, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? What is it going to prove? I can have a lot of bitches too, but I don't need them. For what? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I have my player days, nigga. I don't need to be no player no more, nigga. That shit old, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Macking a bitch, anybody can make a bitch. But can you keep that bitch happy? <laughs> That's the whole key. Can you keep that bitch happy? A lot of y'all niggas can't do that, huh? A lot of y'all niggas fail at that. Why? That's because you think you can dick her down or lick on her pussy and all that shit, man. That shit don't mean a motherfucking thing, nigga. I can do that shit all motherfucking day, nigga. Emotional, nigga. You gotta be emotional with these motherfucking females, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I choose to be by myself. I choose to live by my motherfucking self, man. Because there ain't no motherfucking female out there that can understand my mental. My mental is way fucking different and on a way different motherfucking level than what these females is on, man. You know what I'm saying? Love ain't shit unless it got a motherfucking meaning behind it. And until any one of these motherfucking women show me a meaning behind love, then yeah, I might fall in love one day. But in the meantime, no, I ain't gonna fall in love, nigga. I don't wanna fall in love. Like y'all niggas act like y'all fall in love with these hoes. And y'all be sitting up here living up off these hoes, eating up all these hoes, kids, food and shit, nigga. What the fuck I wanna do that shit for, nigga? I don't wanna live off no bitch. Never lived off no bitch. And I don't even mean to call female bitches, but in some terms, some bitches are just straight out bitches. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I ain't gonna lie, one point in time, my mama was a bitch. My mama was a mean, tough, rough bitch. And my mama wasn't no motherfucking joke. And she still ain't no motherfucking joke to this day. But I love her to death. You know what I'm saying? So I love my mama and my daddy. My daddy, he resting in peace, though. You know what I'm saying? He died four years ago. You know, almost five years ago. Since it's a new year, you know what I'm saying? Shit. And a month later, after I buried him, two weeks later, shit, my wife died, nigga. You know what I'm saying? She died of, you know, bad complications of the heart. Clogged arteries in her heart, man. You know what I'm saying? So all y'all fat motherfuckers out there that ain't eating right, y'all motherfuckers better stop eating them fried motherfucking foods. Stop eating all that unnecessary bullshit. You got all these women out here talking about they thick and shit. Nah, you ain't thick, you fat. F-A-T, fat than a motherfucker. But it's, you mean, don't get me wrong. It's not nothing wrong with a woman having meat on her motherfucking bones. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit, though. But, <clears throat> you know, we know the ones that we talking about. You know what I'm saying? The fat ones. You know what I'm saying? There's some fat, nasty ones that say they thick and don't want to admit that they fat. In reality, no, you are fat. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, you, you are who you are. I mean, I'm not going to knock you because you're fat. I'm not going to knock you because you're heavy. But don't sit up there and lie and say you're thick when I know you're fat. But anyway, I'm about to get up off this thing. Peace, love, and I'm out. Big eye, one love.